I would like to introduce introduce to you the band Amaturi. Amaturi. They are from the country of Russia, and as I described in my one of my first videos uh, on heavy metal defending heavy metal music, because people who don't like that kind of music say it's like you know just a bunch of screaming noise, which is which is not true at all. So I mean, like I defended the vocals of it, and uh, I defended like you know if people can't understand that, I don't think that should be. I, I don't. I just don't understand the reasoning behind that because. This is one of my favorite bands outside of the United States. Anyway, this is the first song I ever listened to them. It's called Butterfly Effect. Listen for it yourself. See what you think. So that was the first song I ever listened to them. I just decided one day just to search up bands because I'm Ukrainian and uh, I wanted to get back into my heritage a little bit or like my ethnic background a little bit and uh, I wanted to look up bands from the surrounding region of Eastern Europe including Ukraine, Russia and other countries. I found one band from Ukraine, I'll talk about it later in another podcast. Um, but this was the first song I ever heard from a Russian metal band that like I really enjoyed and I was like damn these guys are good you know I don't understand a word they're saying but I love it anyway there's something about it, I just love it so then uh, I just constantly kept listening to this one song over and over again the song by the way is called butterfly effect and then I listened to other songs uh, I listened to other songs and um, yeah my one I mean, one of my other favorite songs is um, is um, this one song I'm going to play for you, just let me, you know, get it on the right setting because I didn't improvise for this song. And, uh, eh, hold on. This song was called, uh, this song is called, um, it's called, uh, Black and White Days by them. And, uh, here we go. And that's like one of my, it's probably like my favorite song from them. Like every, like once in a while when I'm like, when I'm walking around and I always have my, I, my iPod in my ears, I, at least one time, at least once I play this song, whether I'm like on a train or every time I just sit back and enjoy it and listen to it. And I just think it's a great song, even though I can't understand a word they're saying. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I just, I know this doesn't seem to be a problem with me. And when I do, when I can't understand what they're saying, I do take value in it. But when I don't understand what they're saying, oh well, I still like it anyway. I listen to the different stuff, and I and I think more of the vocals in a different language as more an instrumental piece than anything else. And then this was another song from Amaturi, and I like this song a lot. And actually, I understand what the meaning of this song is because I know I have some Russian friends who under who translate the song for me, and it's a love song. It's like like some of the, some of the lyrics are. You know, we were once dancing in cold rain. We were once together in cold in in the rain, and like it's that was like a distant past memory where it was just you and me, and now I'm like alone or something like that. It's a very touching, very touching love song. It's a very emotional love song. Something you know, something I don't hear a lot these days in the mainstream music world. But anyway, let's just, let's listen to this song. <laughs> There's also a, a translation of some of the Amaturi so, songs um, from this username called Zoldor666. I'll spell it for you. Capital Z, lowercase o, l, uh, uppercase d, lowercase o, uppercase r, and 6666. Yep. And he has uh, English translations, whether it's like in the in the actual song or it's like in the description section or he has a link to the lyrics in English he has a, he has like some sort of a thing for you and then finally this one other song I think this is a great song right here if you're playing Call of Duty Black Ops I don't know why I am I, I, I don't know why I was just 
I was in Vien I was in the Vietnam level and I was in the Russian helicopter. Those kick ass helicopters. I love those helicopters, man. They're they're so frightening and terrifying at the same time, but they're just kick ass looking helicopters. They're like beasts. So I was listening and I just decided just to turn to a muttery and I was listening to it while I was like and this and I was listening to it while I was shooting from the Russian helicopter in that one level. And then I listened to it again last night on the final level of the game where you're on that ship. So anyway, there was this one part where I was like at the bridge. There was like these bridges in the in the Vietnam one. And there was like this part, one part in the uh, other song where I was like on the cargo ship shooting at them. And uh, this was the part I was listening to while that was happening right here. And yeah, I mean, I thought the song went really well with the game I was playing, even though it's in Russian and I'm an American, I'm being an American in the game. But I liked it anyway. I really didn't care. I thought it fit the game well. I think I think I also recalled playing it when I was on that one other level when they were in the Arctic and they were fighting Nazis or something like that. I don't remember though. But uh, so yeah, check out the band Amaturi. They got great songs. Check them out. This is just a promotion video for them. I have no way uh, their uh, record company. That started in 2001. I have some things to say. One, Soy Use Records. Uh, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrongly. But let me just ask you guys, let me just tell you guys this Soy Use Records, if you uh, ever see this video. I am in no way trying to copyright these guys. In fact, if anything, I was just playing. 10 to 15 second clips of each song. That should that should not that should not be some sort of copyright cr crap. And then, if anything, I was actually promoting these guys the entire time everyone was listening to this. I think this is a great band. I think you should check them out, whether or not you have the ability to speak Russian or not. If you are interested in speaking Russian, well, I can't help you there. Figure it out. Rosetta Stone or someone else can help you with that. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Check out the band Amatsuri. That's it.